Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and I'm proud to present a new project with the name chilipepper.local. Enjoy it! So, welcome back. What is chilipepper.local? This is a solution for an offline chili pepper that can local running on your machine or maybe on your local um, Linux machine. Or if you want, it can run on your local laptop. Also in Windows and in Linux. In Linux, sorry. And the second cool thing is you can install this on your local root server, maybe somewhere on Earth or so. And is it complicated? I think I found a solution that is not so complicated. You just need a git and or a git bash in Windows and of course an Apache or an HTTP server. It's easy, I want to show you this now. Don't speak about it, do it! Here you see um, uh, on my root server an installed Chili Pepper local. Um, the interesting thing is uh, I put everything in. Wait a minute. In GitHub. And the, the funny thing is on this project, I use just original widgets and original code from John Lauer, he's the founder from Chili Pepper. And how I can do this? The trick is I use a feature from Git that uh, calls submodule. What a submodule? You create a kind of symbolic link to a specific repository inside your uh, repository. Or to say this with the words from Git, it often happens that while working on one project, you need to use another project from visit. Perhaps it's a library that a third party develop or that you develop things separately and using in multiple parent projects. A common issue arises in these scenarios. You want to be able to treat the two projects as separate yet still be able to use one from within the other. You know, it's not my English. I, I read this here uh, from um, um, from my GitHub. You see this also here. And I try to explain everything uh, that you can install this uh, on your local machine. But it's very easy. Trust me. I want to show you this now. Um, but first of all, I want to explain how is this GitHub organized. First of all, we have uh, the very important uh, libs from John Lauer's server. Here you see uh, some libs um, that we use uh, in original. This means we use the original Amplify or Bootstraps or jQuery, jQuery UI and Waypoints and 3JS also very important for the 3D screen. And the funny thing is this is just a symbolic link to the original uh, uh, to the original 3JS um, repository. But I use this in a special version and this is, uh, I think, the version R72 or R76, I don't know. And also, I use the lips from John Lauer's um, 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 chilipepper.com uh, root server and then also an app uh, to iSpot, I don't know the right name. And all what he wants, also what Chili Pepper read as J uh, JavaScript file and also, uh, I use this uh, from this original server. I copy this in my um, Chili Pepper local repository because I don't know they are saved somewhere in a, in a, in a GitHub or so. And then I use this directly from John. Okay. But this is not so important. Important is just one file. That's all. And this is uh, cp local.js. 
This is just a kind of um, little JavaScript that translates the call it um, URLs for JavaScript files and so on in local um, um, URLs. It's very easy. You see this here. I, I put an example. Maybe um, we call this jQuery UI core. Then I replace everything. Uh, I replace this text area and then I put my JSLib jQuery UI UI. The good thing is now we use the original code from UI. The bad thing is um, jQuery UI and also jQuery, also Bootstrap, uh, has a lot, a lot of files in her uh, uh, repositories. And if you want to use this um, local on our machine, then we have to download this. But this is completely full automatic. I want to show you this now. It's not necessary you do uh, everything on a code or so. Um, also, I, here I have some data and um, the JSLib. I show you this, yeah. Now and now it's very important the widgets. Every widget what I use here is original from chilipepper.com. I just create now just a tiny G workspace because I saw in the Gerbil workspace they use a lot of this old JS Fiddle uh, URLs and maybe someone from you want to change this and want to create a uh, a workspace in my chili pepper dot local. It's not a problem. You can do this. And then I'm uh, very appreciate. I try also to create a, a common uh, Gerbil workspace, but I don't know if it works or not. So, and you see here all the widgets what I used on a one place. And this is a very cool thing. I developed software for the last 25 years and it's in my opinion, the best way to put all the code, what do you have, the libraries and so on, on a local place, in a local directory, and then I can use Grab to search for something. Now, if you want to uh, create or build a widget for Chili Pepper, it's hard to find the external source code. What uh, can I call for methods and so on? It's not so easy. You have to, f first of all, you have to find this. Now I can use Grab. But uh, in the first time uh, it was, I have to check the URLs in the workspace, then I have to go to the GitHub, then I have to go to the source code and so on. It was hard and now I have this in a one place and it's very easy uh, to handle this and so on. In the next uh, little minutes, I want to show you how you can use Chili Pepper Local on your local machine. So all what do you need on the first time is git for windows you see this here and we need just the git bash not the git GUI. it's uh, some nice and fancy uh, ui interface but we don't need this we need just the git bash download this install this you can get this for git for windows github.io and then you can start the git bash I want to show you this. Here is a git bash. Now, this is the one only comment you need to install Chili Pepper Local on your machine. You don't trust me? Let's go. It's a git clone, but with a special parameter minus minus recursive. Minus minus recursive download all the external widgets and external JS, uh, JavaScript frameworks and so on from the internet to your local machine and then you say https github.com xpix chili pepper.local it's okay and now you can get a cup of coffee or so because this needs some time and uh, use uh, a lot of space around 1.5 gigabyte i know i know it's a lot but um, you have everything local on your machine and also we don't use minimized uh, JavaScript libraries. We use completely routing with all fancy stuff, JavaScript libraries. And you can better see if you want to develop something for uh, JavaScript, 
then you can uh, check every code and so on. Also, the good thing is every JavaScript file is loaded from your local hard disk, and maybe you have a SSD hard disk or so, you will see Chili Pepper starts very fast. Okay, I come back when this uh, is, yeah, finished. So after five minutes, the clone is ready and you see all widgets and so on are here local on my directory, desktop chili pepper local, and you see also the widgets. You can test this, you go inside in one of these widgets and then you see uh, we have a lot of files and so on, everything is nice. Um, to see how much use the complete installation of Chili Pepper Local, it needs around one gigabyte, not 1.5. Very nice. It's not so much. It's good. <laughs> and uh, now we need uh, um, a um, web server, an HTTP web, web server. And I found a very nice web server. It's Mongoose binary uh, web server. It's free. You have only to accept uh, the Mongoose end user license and then download for Windows. It's very small. You see, it's only a half megabyte. So put the downloaded binary, it's only a half megabyte, in your Chili Pepper local um, directory and then start this. So now you, you start a web server and now you are in the same directory and all what you need is to start workspace tinyg. And now it starts completely. And we can do this also again with um, the JavaScript console from, from Chrome. And then we go to the network tab. And reload this again. So now you can see, I hope you can see this, or I have to say, Ah, uh, I want to see the domain. Yeah. And you can check everything is loaded local. The most is lo is loaded from the local. You see my IP address here. It is better you start this with a, a local IP address. This is 120, no, 127.0.0.1. And uh, then uh, you can see something he also um, loaded e external, but it's not so much. It's just I have to close this stupid JavaScript console. Now we can see this better. Cool. And um, ah, wait, I have to. So some files he load uh, from the external sources. That's mostly JPEGs or um, an NC file or so, but the rest, the really logic behind this is just um, loaded uh, from my local server. We can test this also again with my uh, local IP address, wait, 170.001, again, My my PC is not so fast, but if you have a very fast uh, PC, then it loads very fast. And uh, now you see everything works fine. We can go to JS Cut. Then he starts this JS Cut. We can also go very nice widget. It's uh, uh, where is it? SVG import. I hope. Yeah, I like this very much. Very nice work from John, I think. And uh, now you can work here with your SVGs and so on. Yeah, now we make the last test. I want to switch off my internet. Wait a minute. I hope. Okay. No internet. And 
start again. And you see Chili Pepper Local started. Now the good thing is you can also uh, take your laptop to your airplane, maybe you have an eight-hour eight airplane, and then you can develop new widgets or new code on your local laptop machine, and it will work, and so on. The good thing is you can also install Chili Pepper Local on a Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Zero, and then you can use this uh, directly from your local machine. The good thing is it, we need only a web server to deliver the HTML sites and also the JavaScript sites and it's not necessary to have a very fast device that you install Chili Pepper Local. I hope you enjoy it. I want to make um, a second uh, video session about it to uh, show you how you can develop your own widget you have to fork the original widget, then you put this in your workspace, uh, in the code, and then you can uh, develop this. Uh, I want to show you this next week, but for today, I think it's enough. If you find some problems with this installation and so on, don't hesitate and contact me. You can also send an issue here on the issue site, and uh, if you make uh, some, uh, if you found maybe some widgets that are not loaded or not registered in Chili Pepper Local and so on, write me an email, send me an issue. I'm very appreciate if you can help me with this project and I think uh, it's uh, very nice. Many thanks to John Lauer, he is the founder from this uh, Chili Pepper, and also to the other people, Sebastian in Poland and so on, uh, uh, from the Chili Pepper community. And yes, that's all for today. Hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.